the one and only Gene Simmons. Hi, everybody. Uh, Gene, thank you for getting up so early. What time is it there? It's about zero o'clock in the morning. Thank you. <laughs> we are currently in Birmingham in England. It's the first stop of the European leg of the tour. And I'm telling you, without uh, putting too much sugar on the frosting, we can't wait to come back one last time, one last show in Sydney. Now, I have to warn you, we're bringing extra firepower. Our intention is to shake the heavens. In point of fact, we're informing local airfields to avoid flying low-flying planes above the stadium. What? Because okay. boom, boom, boom. <laughs> this is why Australia loves you so much. You've been coming here for more than 40 years. Obviously, it's the fans, but what else about Australia keeps you coming back? Well, look at you. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that is the preeminent bait to get the rest of the planet to come to your beautiful shores because I will tell you, when we first landed in Australia in 1980, we, of course, heard about kangaroos and all that. This was before, um, you know, that's a knife. No, that's a knife. Put another shrimp in the barbie and all the other stuff. That's before Walkabout and all the other... And Choppa, Choppa, one of the great movies. And so when we landed, I was shocked. It looked like a country of models. Everybody was gorgeous. I mean, everybody. It looked like... Uh... And by the way, I should ask you, when did you guys all quit modelling to do TV? Oh, oh I love me. this interview. I was going to say, do you know there's two of her? She's a twin. <laughs> She's an identical twin as well. But it goes further, I will tell you, besides the history and the food and so on, there's something intrinsic about Aussie soul, a way of treating people that... Could be a good lesson for the rest of the world. Um, Gene, this is part of the end of the road tour, and after you uh, finish up in Australia, your final show is going to be in Madison Square Garden uh, in New York in December. Um, how are you feeling about, I guess, this whole huge touring circus that you're a part of coming to an end? Well, look, at a certain point, Mother Nature takes over no matter what your plans are. And at a certain time, You've got to have the dignity and pride, but also the love and admiration of your fans to know when it's time to call it quits. We've all seen boxers that stay in the ring too long, and we've all seen bands that stay on the stage too long. So I'm still looking pretty damn good, but that's not the point. The point is the physical nature of what we do is going to limit how long we do it. And remember, introduce ourselves with, you wanted the best, you got the best, the hottest band in the world. I don't want to be in one of those bands where the fans used to say, oh, you should have seen them back in 1804 when they were really <laughs> rocking. No, 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 no. Right here, right now, either either be a champion or get off the stage. So we're going to we're gonna quit while the quitting's good, while we're on top. And gratefully, I, I don't know how to verbalize what an amazing journey it's been, and it's only due to the fans. Without them, I'd be asking the next person in line if they'd like some fries with that. Don't kid yourself. <laughs> all the fluff and the, uh, oh, you're so famous and everybody think you're so cool and all that. Even the people that hate us, they go, wow, it's got to be a, an amazing thing to be in a band. But there's nothing that compares to being on stage dressed the way we are and blowing stuff up and shaking the heavens than looking into the eyes of a five-year-old fan who's got our makeup on and he's sitting on his dad's shoulders and dad's got makeup on next to his dad or mom and they're all there as a family and that kid for the first time in his life, you know, where are we? We're over here or over there? Wait, there we go. Does <laughs> that, which I've been doing for 50 years, which means I love you in sign language. That's what it means. I love you. And you know what, Jean? Australia yeah. loves you. And we have it on pretty good authority that you'll be visiting the project, us here, in person when you're in town. Can we confirm that now? And will you be wearing the demon makeup? Are you inviting us on Absolutely. the project? Absolutely. Well, when we come down to Australia on October the 6th, we've got to do a sound check at the stadium. Yep. How about you guys allow Paul and I 
to co-host the show with you guys, and we can show all the other shows what ratings are like. <laughs> yes, let's do that. Finally, someone wearing more makeup than me. <laughs> and higher heels. <laughs> uh, hey, don't miss your chance to witness Kistory when kids play their last ever Aussie show. All the info is on our website. Uh, Gene, it's been tremendous talking to you. We can't wait to see you in Australia. You guys are very lucky to be sitting next to such beautiful women. I, I'm so jealous. We try and tell them that. Every time. Every time. They don't care. <laughs> see you, Gene. Have a great one.